What's going on, everybody? Happy Money Making Monday. My name's CJ Curry. Prize Picks has blessed us today, folks. We've got ourselves some discount dogs. So similar to Taco Tuesday, which will be tomorrow, today we're getting some different projections across Major League Baseball discounted, all right? So you'll see some regular lines discounted down quite a bit, uh, which is very welcomed in my opinion. I welcome Taco Tuesday. I welcome discount dogs. Keep bringing on the discounts, Prize Picks. Just another reason for you to be playing on Prize Picks. If you're not playing already, definitely use code Curry. Make that first deposit. You'll get a 100% instant deposit match on that first deposit all the way up to $100. I've left a link down in the description of today's video. All right, gang, let's go take a look at what we've got cooking up on this discount dog Monday here on prize picks. Here's what I'm gonna try and do here. I'm gonna take three picks, I'm gonna flex them. I know it's not the most popular way to play, but I'll explain why in just a moment. I'm gonna flex them, all right? I'm gonna take one of these discount dogs, I'm gonna put them with two other picks that could potentially tie or push. And if I get one push with two props that hit, well then I'll get a 3X payout instead of the normal 2.25X payout that you get on a three pick flex. And if for some reason we end up going two out of three, we still get 1.25X back so we don't completely lose all of what we risk here. And you could risk up to $25 on this discount dog if I'm not mistaken. So let's take a look at these three picks here on prize picks. You got just about two more hours before this Shohei Otani discount dog is removed off the prize picks board. But don't worry, I think there'll be more discount dogs to follow. So if you're watching this video a little bit later, maybe Shohei Otani is gone. Well, feel free to take these other two picks and pair them up with the next discount dog, okay? All right, so Shohei Otani at five and a half strikeouts. His original line was seven strikeouts. So let's go take a look at some projections here on Shohei Otani. This discount dog for me is going to be a no-brainer. I believe they played against, uh, uh, who was it that they played? Mitch, was it Mitch Keller yesterday? Pittsburgh versus Baltimore? I want to say that was the matchup, and I think Keller had like 13 strikeouts against Baltimore. I could be wrong. You guys check me on that, but uh, I think this is a pretty good spot here for Shohei Otani, but let's go check some projections. We'll start things off with my favorite MLB projection, which is The Bat by Derek Cardi. Now, if you're not using The Bat, you could find this on Roto Grinders. It's a really uh, accurate MLB fantasy projection model. It's got fantasy scores. It's got different single stat projections. So in this case, we're going to be looking at Otani strikeouts. He's projected for 6.6 .6 strikeouts today, according to the bat. Again, the line is uh, pretty reasonable here at 5.5. So the projection 6.6, .6, we definitely thinking about taking the over there. Second projection on Otani, you can see the promo here, five and a half is the line. The projection 7.7 .7 strikeouts. So Two very good projections for Otani to go over five and a half strikeouts thus far. Let's go ahead and try to find a third reasonable projection. We got him at 7.6 Ks, guys. So we need six or more out of him today for this discount dog to pay off. And I think it's looking pretty delicious. I'm going to keep the discount dog in my entry. And of course, I'm taking the over. Now, these next two, like I said, have the potential to tie or push, but that's not a bad thing when we're using this three pick flex strategy. If Drew uh, Rachinsky, am I saying that right? Drew Rachinsky, y'all guys correct me in the comments if I'm butchering this guy's name. Oakland Athletics, if he ties at three strikeouts and Jack Flaherty goes over five strikeouts, well, I think we're in a pretty good shape, but let's take the, the Drew Rachinsky play real quick and take a look at the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer. I'm going to drag it in here, and uh, all we have to do is put in Drew's name. Once we do that, you can see that it is, it is a plus EV play. In other words, the odds are in our favor. He's at two and a half on the sports books. Huge betting favorite to go over two and a half strikeouts. So three or better, and we're in good shape taking the over on his line on prize picks. 52.4% chance that he hits this, by the way. So let's go take a look at some projections on Mr. Drew here. Second per, or first projection rather is again on the bat. We're going to go there first. 3.97 Ks. The line is three. So he's projected for nearly a whole strikeout more than his line today at just 3.0 on prize pick. So I'm liking the first projection. Let's check a second projection on him. 
Uh, the Rotowire projection has them at about 3.8 Ks. Again, that's quite a bit higher than three, so I'm liking the over thus far. And we're gonna go back to Fantasy Labs here for our third and final projection. They've got them all the way up at 4.2 strikeouts on a line of just 3.0. So again, for me, no brainer. It's a plus EV play. It's projecting very well across three different trusted projection models. So that leaves just Jack Flaherty here at five strikeouts. Let's take a look at his different uh, optimizer, the projections, and so on, and see if Flaherty should be an over or under play considering uh, his line at five strikeouts. So we'll go back to the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer. And guys, if you're not using this tool yet, it's a great tool to use on Prize Picks. It'll put you on the top picks, props, and plays before Prize Picks bumps them up, bumps them down, or completely removes them from the Prize Picks board. So if you're not using this yet and you want to save yourself five bucks on your first month, drop down to the description of today's video. I've left a link down there. Use code Curry when you sign up and you'll save yourself a few bucks. But this tool completely game changer right here all right so jack flaherty over five strikeouts his lines 5.5 he is being bet under at 5.5 it looks like on some of these books we're getting about a 53.4 percent chance for flaherty to find five k's today we need five or better in this case so we're hoping for six but if he lands on five like i said with this three pick flex strategy it's not the end of the world here so let's go take a look at some projections for mr jack Flaherty. The first projections got him at 5.7 on a line of five. So that's a nice little 0.71 uh, projected strikeouts higher than his line on prize picks. So that's looking good. Let's check a second projection here on Jack Flaherty. Second projections got him at 5.44, a little bit lower, closer to five than six. But again, if it ties or pushes, not the end of the world. We're not really concerned about that. And then the third and final projection, this one should be a good one. Yeah, it's six strikeouts. Take it on the Milwaukee Brewers today. So even if he lands on five strikeouts with this little strategy that we're trying to deploy here, taking the over on Jack Flaherty, not the worst case uh, in the world if he ends up with exactly five strikeouts. So we got Shohei Otani, our discount dog, over five and a half strikeouts. Drew Richinski, over three strikeouts. And then we got Jack Flaherty, over five strikeouts. Uh, all plus EV plays, all projecting favorably, favorably across three different models. So well, what's... What's not to like here? So I'm going to put the full 25 bucks here. If I go three for three, it'll be a 2.25x payout. If I get two out of three, it'll be a 1.25x payout. And once again, if I get a tie on one of these and the other two hit, it'll become a two-pick power play, essentially, getting me a 3x payout. So bang, there we go. The entry submitted. Now all we have to do is sit back, relax, and watch these boys pitch. Appreciate you watching the video. Make sure you subscribe. Turn on those notifications if you haven't already. Hit that like button. Let's get to 10,000 subscribers. I'm trying to get there by the end of the NBA season. Appreciate all your support. We'll catch you in the next one, guys. Good luck and peace.